So I'm out here in Abu Dhabi with the, uh, the Derbyshire lads. How are you finding it? It's been fantastic. Obviously, to get in the warm weather's uh, much better than being in Derby. And uh, the guys have seen a lot of the indoor centre for the past sort of five months. So uh, I think they were looking for a, a refreshed environment. Um, and it's fantastic to come out here and use the facilities. We came here last year. Uh, it's just great to get out here. There's a fantastic stadium to make the most of and uh, training facilities. So and it's good to have some other counties here to, to, to play against also. So fantastic preparation. You've done quite a few pre-seasons now. Do you still get excited at this time of year? Yeah, absolutely. It's good. As I said, it's good to just get outside after you've been in, indoors and in the gym for, for a long period of time and batting in the indoor surface. Uh, it's just nice to get some grass under your feet and, and sort of get some proper cricket in. Um, so it's just an exciting time of the year and you know that you're in the build-up to the season. So it really starts kicking, kicking on from here, isn't it? Well documented why you missed quite a lot of last season. Yeah. So I guess it's, it's a fresh start for you and a chance to really get your teeth back into Absolutely, cricket as well. Yeah. I've done a double pre-season really because I've been in the, in the gym and, and rehabbing for probably about eight months now. So especially for me, I'm more than appreciative of, of being out here. And uh, yeah, obviously I see how my body reacts and, and it's... It's been okay up to now. I think it's a bit easier when you're in the warm weather to be in back in April and, and a little bit colder. But I'm just looking forward to getting going now. And uh, you know, obviously had a bit of a tragic experience, but utilise that in a good way going forward and, and get back to my cricket. Graham Welch is obviously uh, into his second year in charge as head coach here. Um, how's the club looking? I mean, you've been around Derbyshire for a number of years now. What's the kind of health of the club at the moment in your view? I think it's the, the healthiest that it's been certainly in my time. Um, Graham's got a fantastic coaching staff and, and it's just exciting with the players that are coming through. We've got a, a youthful side and um, they're gaining some great experience out here. The likes of Harry White and Will Davis who have just signed the first contract and you know, getting some proper experience. Harry played at the Sheikh Zayed and I don't think he was probably expecting to do that but mm. I just think it's a great, you know, it says something about Graham and, and the way that he backs the youngsters and, and builds them with confidence really and he manages them incredibly well. And, uh, it's just a really exciting time to be a part of the club. The culture that the culture that we're creating is is something special. Whether it reaps benefits now or in three to five years' time, I, I think there'll definitely, hopefully, be more some uh, more silverware in the cabinet going forward. There does seem to be a real positive vibe around the lads out here, and it was kind of proof was in the pudding really with that Worcestershire game the other day, where kind of out of nowhere fought back and, and got the victory. It showed a lot of steel. Absolutely, and we you know we've got a. A blueprint of what we play to and, and, and know how we want to go about the game and staying in the game and the guys just believe that we you know we could always win it and, and got the opportunity to uh, to make the most of them and, and we did and uh, great to see Shiv who's obviously in addition this year come and bowl the last over and mm. take the pressure uh, and it's about just getting in those winning ways early on it's the, you know although they're out here to, to almost get the experience and just get some overs under your belt there's undoubtedly competition that um, you know, exist straight away in terms of wanting yeah. to win, and uh, you know, it sends a sends a big message out to the to the counties that you're playing out here that you mean business from from ball one. So, you know, that's what we're here to do. And like you say, I mean, if if you can be competitive and, and fight and and treat pre-season seriously, that bodes well for translating into the summer ahead, doesn't it? Absolutely, and it's about that culture again to um, you know set the standards that you want to want to achieve and the expectations that you've got. Those sort of minimum expectations now. We got a quarter final last year in the one day cricket and we want to, you know, a semi if not a, if not a final, you know, in twenty twenty as well. We want a quarter final or, or a finals day and that's what we that's what we're really striving towards. And hopefully obviously the championship finish or well, start the season how we finish the season last year in, in such a strong fashion. Your own own position, are you guaranteed the gloves at the start? you've got a young man called Harvey Hussain who's impressed me out here. He looks really good. Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm definitely not guaranteed the spot, and that's what it's. You know, competition is healthy, and that's what it should be like. And uh, I've coached Harvey, so I, I, you know I wish him wish him as as, as much as myself. And um, yeah, as I said, I've got to say how my body reacts, but I'm I'm striving to get back because it was fantastic to be out there in the win um, against mm. Worcester, and, and I just need to get some more overs under my belt myself in terms of keeping and, and batting. I've been out of the game for 12 months. The Worcester game was my first game in 12 months, and it's uh, you know you need to you need to. Get some uh, get some overs under your belt to, to build some confidence and things. So, but he played a fantastic innings yesterday, and, and he's definitely going to be chasing my heels. And, and uh, if I'm not chasing his, what's a realistically good season for Derbyshire ahead? What's what, what do you think you can achieve this summer? Well, I'd like to see is obviously compete in the county championship. Uh, as I said, if we start how we finished last year, then we'll definitely be in contention. We showed that we could do it in 2012, and I think we're in a healthier position, uh, as I mentioned, than we were uh, back then. Uh, and then some sort of obviously quarter final or, or a finals day in 2020 uh, quarter final in the 
in the 50 over. We want to win every competition, obviously, but realistically, just build on what we did last year um, to quarterfinals and, and onwards in, in all competitions and counter championship. You know, challenging for, to get back in Division One where we where we had a sniff at, uh, in 2012. Well, it's good to see you back, and good luck for 2015. Thank you very much.